Today I want to go over a desktop application that I started to use called S3 Browser. Now I'm using the Pro version here. There is a free version available also, which has slightly more limited features, but for I think it was $29 or thereabouts, uh, upgrading to the Pro version really is quite worthwhile. And what I'm going to do is I have some videos that I want to upload to a new bucket on Amazon. So I'm going to create a new bucket. Give it a name. Create the bucket, go into the bucket, and then I'm going to upload some videos. Upload these three. And you can see it's going through and creating all the necessary files that S3 needs for each video. Just going to pause the video for a few seconds while this is uploading. Back in a moment. Okay, we're back now and those videos have now finished uploading. So what I'm going to do is to go to the permissions area, do a quick refresh just to see the, the videos on Amazon. And because these are going to be included in one of my memberships, just going to check the box for authenticated users for reading permissions. Same again for the second video and also for the third video. Now if I want to use my video system to create links to the S3 Amazon system. I would just simply copy this to the clipboard, log into my domain, which in this case is Video marketing complete. Go into my WP admin area. Before we do a post, let me just show you the video rocket information. I want to generate short code to be inserted into a post or a page. I would paste the Amazon link in there. Choose a size and click on generate. And that now gives me an expiring link for the videos hosted on my S3 Amazon account. That just about covers it. Excellent little desktop application. Can't recommend it enough. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.